Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. But as you might be able to tell today, I'm not in Northeast Florida. I'm in Lake Zurich, Illinois, here at the home of who else but Echo. I've had one and a quarter deep dish Chicago style pizza pies, and I'm very close to vomiting, but I'm fighting through that discomfort for you. So we can take a look at Echo's 20 new products for 2020. Here they are. We have five new models for hedge trimmers. First of all, we have the SHC 2620S, similar to something we currently have, but we reduced the shaft length to 42 inches. It's the most powerful shafted hedge trimmer in the market. Also gives us fast blade speed. We have the handheld line, so we have four new models of handheld hedge trimmers. We got two double-sided and two single-sided. They all have the 21.2 cc engine. They have the easy starting system. All the units have the magnesium gear case. They have front exhaust to help prevent damage to your bushes. The best thing about these units are the weight. So you're gonna be saving anywhere from a half pound to two pounds of weight compared to the current Echo models and compared to the competitions. When you're cutting hedges all day long, that's a, that's a pretty big deal. And underneath it, there's five mower spindles. Each one of the mower spindles has three of these razor blades. The blades stick out about that much. That's what's cutting the grass. So as this mows at 70 millimeters, it's cutting just the tip off, just a little bit at a time, maintaining that high to cut the whole way through. The blade replacement's very easy. Can't sharpen these blades, it's essentially a razor blade. Five motors across the, the spindles themselves. Each motor has its own drive card. And then there's two drive motors for the, the propulsion of the machine. And then a final motor that manages the height of cut. Rechargeable lithium ion battery. Cycle goes about two hours of work to one hour of charge. So this machine is almost identical to the TM. What we did is we just took the mower guts out, put a little bit of a different frame on, and all it does is pick golf balls. And it picks it up and it throws it into this hopper. As this hopper fills, there's a tank sensor that lets it know the tank's full. Once it's 280 golf balls, it knows to go back to the charging station or the drop pit, drop the golf balls, and then go back to work. So we have a 1800 electric corded pressure washer and then the 3100 PSI. It has a K-Maxial pump on your homeowner versions. We get about 250 hours out of K-Maxial pumps. Homeowner runs at about 30 hours a year. The life of that unit is about seven years then. Moving up to the more professional units, we have the 3200, the 3600, and the 4200. We have triplex pumps on these three units. The life is about five times more than the homeowner. Triplex also means you, know, you can service them, they're rebuildable. All three also have non-marking hoses. Warranties on all units is three years consumer and one year commercial. But our new item this year in stick tool category is our SRM 2320T. We feel this is a great performing trimmer. It's going to retail for $249. Starts up here as a 21cc commercial grade power head with chrome cylinder plating. So nice, great long-term durability there. Two-stage air filtration, toolless removal. So nice, easy access to the filters. Also has a full wrap tank stand. The 225 has a partial wrap. This is going to give you more protection to the tank stand. We're upgrading to a two to one gear reduction ratio right here. So this is going to have the most cutting torque of any trimmer in the category. And the category we're talking about is 200 29 up to 279. This is going to offer 28% more cutting torque than our 225 and over 40% more than any competitor in the market in this category. It's come standard with the Speed Feed 400 head. I think the pros are going to love it and see the step up from the 225 with all the benefits of the 2320T. So you got five new generators. Really what I wanted to show is the Echo Command app, newer technology being incorporated into generators, basically bringing smartphone devices into power equipment. I have the EGI 2300 running here, and what it allows you to do is communicate with the generator through your smartphone. Some of the things that we're able to do, one is actually identify the amount of fuel. It tells me a load or how many electrical devices I'm powering with it, and then it tells me what my runtime is also. I can watch that load meter so I don't overload it. Typically, if you overload a generator, you have to unplug everything, go back outside, flip some switches, get the unit restarted. If I do overload it, the engine stays running, it disconnects the electronics, 
it sends me a pop-up message through the app that says, hey, you overloaded me, unplug something. I unplug it, I can actually reset it with my phone. I don't have to go back outside in the storm to do any of that. It does have the ability to do a remote shutdown. Also, it has a carbon monoxide shutdown feature built into it. Whenever the generator is running, it's continuously monitoring the air. If it ever senses a dangerous level of carbon monoxide, it'll actually shut the unit down, send you a notification to your phone saying evacuate the area. So as you can see, quite a few new products to look forward to. I know I'm very excited to try out some of those pressure washers. You probably thought that's what I was going for. If you've got any questions about any of the products you've seen here or about anything, please make sure and leave them in the comments below. I respond to comments almost daily, no matter how old a video is. If you'd like to see some more detailed videos, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any updates or notifications when I produce those new videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.